outside of Rome at the Valle Lunga racetrack. Next to me, the all-new Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. Now, you might be wondering what the name stands for. Well, LP stands for Longitudinal Posterior, and that indicates where the engine sits. It's a mid-engine. 700 is the horsepower. Uh, actually, in the U.S., it'll be 691 horsepower. And the four, four-wheel drive. Now, the engine, all-new V12, revs to 8,250 RPM, so it's a very high-revving engine. A lot of torque. Peak torque is about 5,500 RPM. There's also a new ISR 7-speed gearbox. It has four carbon synchronizers. It's not a dual clutch. It's more of an automated manual. And with the Aventador, which is Lamborghini's flagship, they changed the mission of the vehicle. Before, it was all about top speed acceleration. With the Aventador, first and foremost, it's about handling. And when it comes to handling, the Aventador has a few new tricks up its sleeves. Haldex 4 all-wheel drive, a dry sump oil system, F1 style pushrod suspension, and a 150% stiffer, 325 pound carbon fiber monocoque structure that helps reduce the body and weight to 506 pounds, about 30% lighter than the Murcielagos. About as long as a Toyota Camry, wide as a Honda Odyssey, and tall as a Tesla Roadster, the Aventador resembles a large, menacing, low slung predator. Imagine peacefully snorkeling along and then coming face to face with a 15 foot ray, and you get the picture. Enter via Lambo's trademark scissor doors and snug sport seats, console-mounted switch gear, and an oversized TFT LCD display greet you, all reminders that takeoff is impending. Of course, there's also the center console position start button that conjures up top gun sequences whenever the mid-mounted V12 is stoked. <laughs> Bury the throttle, and this 48-valve brute will leave you grinning all the way to central booking. High RPM power is immense, to say the least, and mid-range torque seems almost superfluous. Whether speeds are double or triple digits, the engine pulls, and pulls strongly. And the soundtrack, deep, operatic, is music that never gets old. Out on the Valley Lunga circuit, the Aventador proved immensely entertaining. While the shocking straight line speed was a given, the surprisingly adept handling was not. The LP700-4 feels firmly planted and reassuringly responsive at speed. It is far and away the best driving 12-cylinder Lambo to date, making it relatively easy to pilot when pushing the limits and downright idiot-proof compared to its hairy predecessors. Mid-corner understeer is common, so the Aventador requires a patient right foot, or else it will push wide offline. The steering is linear and weights up nicely, but nonetheless lacks the telepathic tactility that makes Ferrari Helms so engrossing. At about 3,600 pounds, the Aventador weighs roughly 400 pounds less than a 599 GTB Fiorano. But it doesn't feel comparably light. In fact, it comes across bulkier, a car that requires more manhandling. Where the Aventador doesn't fall behind is in braking. Armed with Brembo caliper squeezing carbon ceramic discs, the Aventador provides stout, fade-free stopping force. The Aventador starts at $393,695, or over thrice the price of a Corvette ZR1. That's a lot of moolah for sure, but given the Aventador's scintillating stats, it begins to look less rip-off vet and more bargain Bugatti, a car that costs roughly $2 million, yet is barely quicker. Lamborghini says it will produce about 750 Aventadors annually for global consumption, which equates to roughly 250 making it stateside. Naturally, the first 18-month supply is already sold out. On the bright side, Lamborghini has planned a 10-year run for the Aventador. So, by the time you get one in 2015, it may very well be using a direct-injected V12 delivering 750 horsepower and with cylinder deactivation 20 miles per gallon on the highway.